Now, if there are any questions or comments, we can take them. So, uh, Sheikh, um, you mentioned that the, there are three types of divine knowledge. Yeah. And, uh, so, where did we get the formal definitions for the, the formal terms for these types of knowledge? Were they given to us by the Imams or was the formalization done by later scholars? Uh, about the, the breakdown of, uh, of the, three, the, the, the three types of divine knowledge. Now, I, I don't recall a hadith. And again, I haven't done enough research to, to say definitively if any imam has specified these three types of knowledge. But it seems that after putting together the ahadith, you know, looking at what the imams have said, you know, the theologians, the ulama of kalam, they've come to the conclusion that based on the akhbar of Ahlul Bayt, the narrations of Ahlul Bayt, there are these three uh, areas of, uh, three types of, uh, of divine knowledge. So I, I personally don't recall a hadith where a ma'asum says there are Allah's knowledges of three types. This is a conclusion made by our scholars by looking at many ahadith relating to the knowledge of Allah. But again, I, I say this as someone who has not looked at all of the ahadith relating to ilmullah. 